Hello, I am Sudarshan Sukhani and we are going to discuss some ideas for identifying methods to take short term swing trades. These methods are applicable to nifty futures, to bank nifty futures, but also to most other actively traded underlying as well as futures. Please understand that trading is possible only when there is some kind of a trend. So if the stock or if the instrument is flat and absolutely choppy, no method or no in indicator is going to work there. So we assume that you are going to identify an instrument where there is some kind of trend available or at least where there is a history that the stock trends or the instrument trends, if not now, then soon enough. So the idea is to look at an indicator which can give you some help in getting your long as well as your short trades done. Please remember that short side trading should be done when the trend is down and long side trading should be done when the trend is up. If you start looking for short selling when the trend is up, we are going to fall into trouble. So this is a basic principle that we keep in mind when we look for swing trades. We do not look to short, we do not look to go long at the same time in the same instrument because if the instrument is trending up, it is better to stay on the long side and if it is trending down, it is better to stay on the short side. So with all of this introduction, I am going to take you to the RSI which is a favorite indicator for me as well as which is an indicator that has stood the test of time. It was developed in 1978 and it is now 42 years, so something that has worked for 42 years has probably got a great deal of robustness behind it. I am not going to take the RSI as it is. I am going to make some modifications to it so that it becomes smoother with the advent of computers, with the advent of very fast processing methods. It makes sense to use fast processing uh, to get better results. We do not have to go to the 1978 RSI. We can use the RSI as a basis for something better and faster. It may be more intensive in calculations, but computers can calculate anything now. So we go to the RSI and smooth it. By smoothening is meant that we remove the minor variations in the RSI, so that the RSI becomes more like a simple line rather than up and down small jagged points. The importance of having a simple line rather than jagged points is that the line then gives you the trend. If the RSI goes up today, comes down tomorrow, again goes up, it may be going up because this eventually, but this up and down movement in the RSI becomes very confusing. So we are looking at a modification in the RSI that gives us something better. Let's look at the basic ideas. The RSI is a robust, versatile indicator, but it becomes confusing to use many times. I am sure you know that. Anyone of, or all of you who use indicators know the RSI is good. It gives you a lot of method, a lot of uh, advantage in analyzing a chart. But for most of its time, it is very confusing. Is it going up? Today it went down, tomorrow it went up again. It went for up 4 points, went down 2 points. The net result is a great deal of confusion. Has it turned down? Has it turned up? Now, a smooth version of the RSI can give you a clear trend view, which is what we want. Now, this clear trend is not a guarantee. There is no guarantee in the market, but it is good enough. At least we get a starting point. Now, with the smooth RSI, we need to add some price action methods so that we get a strategy. Remember the indicator, no indicator by itself is enough to give you a strategy. You have to add some price action, some price mechanism so that the strategy becomes available to you. I am now using a software that I use, Trend Analyzer, to explain the smoothed RSI method to you. Uh, Trend Analyzer I use because I am showing that software because I am very used to it, that's all. Uh, I also use multicharts and multicharts has a very comprehensive programming language. Trend analyzer also has a similar, I mean not the language is not similar, but it also has a comprehensive uh, scripting language. Uh, if you have any other software and I am sure you have something else, I am 
I hope you can adapt whatever I am telling you into that software. Uh, most software will do allow you to do so. So we start with the process of the RSI. We take a nine period RSI. Now the, you know this nine is not uh, sacrosanct. You can use fourteen. You can use seven. I must tell you that indicators are used to give you a general idea of the trend of, of extreme positions. They are not perfect. They are not supposed to be. They cannot be. Nothing is perfect. So I am using a nine period RSI, and I am using two levels: forty for the low, something that you consider the oversold, and sixty for the high, which be something we consider to be overbought. So this is forty, and this is sixty. Together with this, I am repeating again a nine period RSI and a sixty level for over for extreme levels on the upper side, and forty as the extreme low on the lower side, but. Actually, I don't use the RSI on the chart. I just use it to calculate something else, because I told you that we are smoothening the RSI. And what is that something else? That something else. Uh, we have advanced option for indicators in Trend Analyzer that allows me to calculate not one but two moving average of the indicator that we are using. So I am creating a linear regression forecast indicate uh, line. With 34 periods for the RSI, and the second, I am using another linear regression forecast line with a 55 period look back again for the RSI. So essentially, I am taking the RSI, then I am smoothing it into two moving averages, which are which are really linear regression lines with 34 periods and 55 periods. Those who use indicators will recognize that this is the fast line and this is 55 is the slow line. I am not going to plot the RSI. I will only plot these two lines because I am really interested in the linear regression moving average of the RSI with these two values. So that's how that's all there is to it. Together with this, you must use price price action methods. Pure indicator never works. Let's look at the Nifty chart now. This is the Nifty 30 minute chart. 30 minutes is a very good time frame for a swing trader, and this is the Nifty futures chart. Now, this light yet blue line, if you think of this, this is the slow line. The red line is the I'm sorry. This light blue line is the fast line, and the red line is the slow line. This is the 34 period, and this is the 55 period. When the red line goes below oversold or the extreme low level, this is 40. And then starts turning. This is a buy signal. It also gives a second buy signal when the fast line crosses the slow line, which means the blue line crosses the red line. Another buy signal comes. So there are two different buy signals. You have to judge if you want to take this one, this one, both. That's that's something that price action will tell you. Here we can see the price is making higher highs. So perhaps we might like to take both of them. The first exit signal. Remember, this is not a sell signal. In an uptrend, there are no sell signals. There are only exit signals. Exit your long position and step aside. The first exit signal comes when the fast line crosses below the slow line. This is red line is the slow line. Here it is going below. This is our first warning signal or exit signal. And the final exit signal comes when the slow line goes below 60, which is our overbought or extreme high line. Here. At this point, we should be out of the trade. Now, again, we get a buy signal here, and what is this buy signal? The fast line is crossing above the slow line. This is the red line, is the slow line. So sometimes the indicator doesn't come to 40. In that case, we get a secondary sell buy signal, which is this signal. This is all there is to it. Use price action. Is it making higher highs? Is it breaking a pivot low? Correlate with these signals. Do not use these signals blindly and by their own. And always trade with the trend. The larger trend is up. We are taking buy signals, and these are exit signals. They are not short sell signals. When the larger trend will become down, these will become short sell signals, and the greens will become exit signals. So this is all there is to it. Trading should be kept as simple as possible. Pure indicator trading must be accompanied by price action mechanisms. And you add the two of these two, add these two, and you have a strategy. This is just an example of how you can set up a strategy for a 30-minute time frame. You could probably apply this not just to the Nifty near, 
but to the magnitude to individual stocks to other derivatives i hope you enjoyed this small presentation the idea was not to give you a setup or signal the idea was to tell you how you can use these signals and get a complete strategy you could use something else but the process would be the same enjoy yourself and thank you for watching this video